Hey everyone, we are back again, and we have the Masters of the Universe Rotan. Um, I managed to find this on a clearance rack, and here he is in the packaging. Um, hey, real quick, if you guys can subscribe, if you're not, that would help us out a lot. Alright, so we've got the, the artwork on the sides, it's got Screech on this end, and this side has a Tower of Eternia and He-Man in the Road Ripper. Okay, so... Does the bottom have anything? There, just the oh, okay. packaging. And the back has some great artwork showing the Talon Fighter and Point Dread with a Stratos. Um, and I'm looking... I don't see any other major characters in there. Okay, so... Um, it says, whether on land or in the air, the Rotan is... Its spinning blades carve a path of destruction. So, this was a 2022 release, so it's been a out for a while. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this blade to cut open the tape. So, don't do... The way the box is done is it's taped on the side, so it's a very thin box. Um, there were quite a few of them that were damaged, so... Alright, let's take this thing out. Here it is, out of the packaging. There is the cover from the Ertl models. Um, back in the 80s, they made one. I did not ever actually get one of those. This is a shiny, metallic-looking red. Um, I have the Classics version right here next to it, so take a look at that. This is the original toy from the 80s, and it doesn't quite fit that toy, so this one's probably a little bit bigger. Alright, um, there's a, a interchangeable face mask to match the Ertl model from the 80s, so you can just slide it on the front. And then the two weapons, the two guns that were permanently attached on the original are here. They attach to this one right here in the middle. I'm going to have to figure out how to remove this from the box. Okay, so uh, if you'll look at the box. Okay, this one has three wheels on the bottom. Um, I think the original one only had like one wheel. I'll have to look at that and see. So it's easy right. to remove from the box. Yes, yeah, so you just turn the little things and they slide out. Mattel's done a really good job on those. Okay, so... Um, I like the nice metallic red paint, uh, something we didn't get in Classics. Um, it does it does have the more... Uh, it's like a family of horseshoe crabs. Oh my gosh. It is almost the same size as the original toy. It's a little bit bigger, as you can see, about an inch. And it's taller, inch off, the taller off the ground, so th this is not going... That's why this doesn't fit. It's still only... It's about an inch bigger circle, too. Like, the circle is about an inch. But it's pretty much um, at the same level. And if you'll notice, the original one did only have the one wheel in the middle. What about this one? Um, I want to say this one had a couple of wheels on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it has four, four little wheels, two uh, skinny ones, and then the big ones that actually turn the, the gears that make the... Uh, blades spin. Looks like giant evil Roombas. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Unfortunately, it's not doing the vacuuming I need. All right, and this is the little Skeletor robots from Classics that I had, and I had stored. We need to get here. a Roomba and put the face of this on there. <laughs> <laughs> and make it spin the whole time. It's oh going. my gosh! Does that this one roll funny. and spin? Yes, this one will spin. Um, and well, it sounds weirder though. It's slower than this one. This one doesn't have the clicking sound. This one is the original. So they did mimic the clicking sound. It's a different click, but the fact that it makes the clicking sound like the original makes it that much more awesome. Um, the blades. This one actually has handles um, on the sides for your oh, fingers to hold on to. Because um, um, that one? The no. classics ones, they actually put levers in oh, for that's the cool. figures to... Yeah. Um, steer with. Yeah. So that that makes it a little bit cool um, in that it followed him with that tradition of 
giving them actual handles to work Some with. Pretty cool detailed stickers. Yes, the stickers are very much similar to the original stickers. Um, I, um, the, oh, they were a little bit of wiring right there, though. So. Yeah, there's uh, a little bit of difference. The but wiring. This, no, that one has one. it on both, though. See. Okay. This one. So on this. One. Well, the sticker pattern. I think on the original you had to put your stickers on and your on yourself so the, that could be the difference in why the stickers are not the uniform same. but it's a great uh rendition of the original it's an like actual seat too uh, yeah like that one. yeah it does have well this one has a lip there this one actually has a seat so your figures can actually sit in them um let's see we've got a sun man here let's see we'll take his uh, how do we get, we have Sun Man with Thunder Punch, He-Man's feet, alright, so, just to put in perspective, this is the, can he hold this Sun one? Man, Let's oh yeah, he holds him good, whoops, yep. uh oh, he just decapitated in the end, you know, that's yeah. the, that's the thing about the, the spinning blades, <laughs> <laughs> leads to the decapitation, alright, so, um, you can, with the right figure, you can work them to get to hold both of the See, both of the levers. Nice. So, all right. Yeah, um, he has a, oh, the he thunder punch it. pack on the back is pushing him too far forward. Right, make him roll. Right. Oh, keep him. Oh. Put his hand. <laughs> okay. All right, there we so, go. Right. Here's the sun man. Okay. Too bad these aren't sharp. I can take it outside and cut the grass with it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, if we take a look at the original, he doesn't, this sit, is, down he doesn't sit down in this one. Um, your I think the legs original, are wide. Yeah, the legs are a little bit longer than... A little wider, see? Yeah. So, I mean, it's a really good rendition. I like this one. I'll put the mask on it so we can see what uh, that looks like. Managed to... What did you do with it? There it is. Buried the mask under the box. Okay. So, this appears to have some pegs here that yeah, right will there there, right. sit right in. Um... I don't know what... The, oh, no, those are the pegs for the... Oh, it's not that? The, those are for the, the canopy. All right, let me see. Um, oh, you just took everything. Okay, if you'll notice, right above these teeth here, there are some holes. And these pegs will fit right in those holes. So, it'll snap on. And... Now you have an evil... Even more evil looking... Roton, and you can still put the, now it'll look more like the Ertl model, which I never got, I didn't even know existed when I was a kid, so, uh, doesn't fit me, let's see, hold on, let's see, get the pegs in there, there we go, Okay, so the pegs fit in here. There's two on the back. There's too. two on the back. It's a matter of getting in the right light, which is hard to do right here at the floor to see, to get them to sit on there exactly like you want it. Um, there we go. So that is clipped on and you have your Roton, and your figure will be protected in there. So, it's a really cool feature. Um, I like this one. I kind of like the fact that they went with a metallic red. Um, more so than the plain Pretty flat shiny. color that they used in the originals. Thanks again for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.